Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I don't know about you lot, but I felt completely alien last week when I didn't do a new Metal Monday. It was weird, I did not like it, but unfortunately I didn't really get on board with any of the releases from last week, so I didn't really want to recommend anything that I personally found a bit meh. But I am back today with five brand new albums that I want to talk about, so I'm just going to jump straight into these because once again, as always, every week, apart from last week when I didn't do it, I am very excited about these. Okay, so first up on my list was an album that I was very excited about, and that's Sadus with The Shadow Inside, and it's the sixth studio album from the US technical thrash metal band, and it's their very first album in 16 years. And the band themselves have said that even though this isn't a concept album as such, it does deal with a lot of themes of personal life decisions and taking responsibility for your own actions. And also around themes of an internal entity that's constantly pushing you forward. And I think that's really well symbolised in the album artwork that goes along with this record as well. It's definitely something I can absolutely get on board with 100%, but this record is an absolute face melter. Frantic drumming, absolutely insane shredding in this, some really cool catchy moments, it's got a lot of really cool stompy grooves in it. And not to forget the absolute neck-breaking speed. The vocal ability in this is absolutely unreal. It's really raw, it's really rasping, and it's incredibly powerful. This record is just absolutely ferocious and straight in your face. This record is just an absolutely ferocious, straight in your face, thrashing mad extravaganza, and I loved this record. It was amazing. So if you are a fan of the likes of Creator, Dark Angel, Slayer, Sodom, that kind of sound, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. Like I said, it's the first record that this band have released in the last 16 years, and it's definitely an epic way to brush off those cobwebs. Hopefully we'll see more of these guys in the future, but this was an absolutely amazing record. Do not sleep on this one. My favourite tracks of this record were The Devil in Me, Pain and No Peace. Okay, so next up I have Alchemy of Flesh with By Will Alone and it's the second studio album from the US death metal band and this is actually a solo project by a guy called Tim Rowland. Now this is just an incredibly, brutally ferocious cacophony of mad riffing frenzy. It's really ferociously atmospheric and the drumming in this, the blast beats are absolutely insane. Now if you like your death metal in the Florida kind of style, you're definitely going to want to check this out. I'm always absolutely in awe of solo projects. The absolute raw energy and the talent that comes out of these solo projects is just incredible. And this is no exception whatsoever. Now the sound that comes out of this record, again I did say that if you like your Florida style death metal you're definitely going to want to get onto this, but if you're a fan of the likes of Morbid Angel, Angel Corpse and Hate Eternal, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. But not only that, he also takes a lot of inspiration from video games like Doom and Eastern Religion and Spirituality. It's a very fast paced commanding record that just smacks you square in the face. So like I said, if you enjoy your death metal to be the Florida kind of style and you like bands like Morbid Angel, Angel Corpse or Hate Eternal, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. The Godhead of Self, Earth Dragon Totality and Unmaker are my favourite tracks from this record, but definitely get onto this one too. Okay, so next up I have King with Fury and Death and it's the third studio album from the Australian Melodic Black and Death Metal Band. This record is absolutely stunning. It's a perfect blend of all the best elements to do with death metal, black metal and melodic metal rolled into one and it is just absolutely incredible. It's gorgeously melodic yet it's absolutely ruthless and ferocious. It has this absolutely incredible grandiose atmosphere, really cool catchy hooks, mental drumming in this mental shredding and soaring gorgeous solos. The vocals are demonically guttural and it's just an absolutely stunning soundscape of raw powerful beauty and I loved this. It's really intense, it's really uplifting, it's really rousing and it's just absolutely stunning and I keep going on about it but I really did love this album. So if you are a fan of the likes of Thokandra or Immortal, Hyperion, these kind of bands, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. Volcano, Mountains of Ice, 
Once and For All and To The Stars are all of my favourite tracks of this record, but I did enjoy it from beginning to end. But if you like your really densely atmospheric, melodic, rousing death and black metal, definitely get onto this. I loved this. Okay, so next up I have Aeternus with Philosopher and it's the ninth studio album from the Norwegian Black and Death Metal Band. Now the term dark metal incorporates death metal, black metal with classical and folk metal elements all rolled into one and this perfectly describes the sound from this band. Lots of layered guitar, haunting atmosphere and crushing attitude. It's ominous, it's devastating and it's just gorgeously majestic. Roaring ferocity, absolutely blistering blast beats and it's just an absolutely beautiful soundscape. This is another one that I describe as a soundscape because it has various different layers in it and it keeps you hooked and it keeps you really interested and it is absolutely gorgeous. I loved this record. So again, if you are a fan of the likes of Bathory, Immortal, Behemoth, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. And I genuinely loved the entire record from beginning to end. Okay, so last up on my list, but certainly by no means least, I have Vansend with Morkit. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I probably am not pronouncing that right, so I do apologise. But it's the debut album from the Danish melodic death folk metal band. Now, I'm going to be honest, I absolutely fell in love with this record. This hooked me in and it kept me and I loved it and I've forgotten how many times I've listened to this album throughout the entire weekend. I cannot get enough of this. To the point where I may have had to alter my top 40 of 2023 just a little bit to incorporate this record in there somewhere. I loved it that much so keep an eye out. This will definitely be coming up again at some point very very soon. I loved this. It's absolutely gorgeous, atmospheric, melodic death metal with a lot of really heavy folk elements throughout it. And it calls on a lot of inspiration from Norse mythology and Scandinavian history. Again, you've got your blistering blast beats, you've got your frantic shredding. Absolutely beautiful, catchy melodics on a backdrop of tin whistles and bagpipes. And it just adds a whole other layer of beauty and atmosphere to this. And it's really rousing and very, very addictive. The contrast between the brutal male guttural vocals and the clean, soaring female melodic vocals are just absolutely stunning and they just bounce off each other and it adds a whole other layer to the haunting atmosphere. Plus very, very heavy bass lines. I love it when I can hear heavy bass lines in my music, so I was all over this. It was the bass lines that really attracted me to this. So if you are a fan of the likes of Veneer, Epica, Eliviti, Sur, you're definitely going to want to get onto this. I loved this from beginning to end as well. Cannot get enough of this record and you'll definitely be hearing me going on about this again at some point very, very soon. Don't sleep on this. I adored this. This is beautiful. And that is it for this week's New Metal Monday. Once again, if you can drop me a wee comment in the comment section below to let me know what you think of these records. And again, if you have any of your own recommendations, please let me know. All of the band camp links for the bands will be included in the description box going forward. So you don't have to go and search for the bands yourself. You can just click on the link and it'll take you straight to their relevant pages. If you could like, share and subscribe, I really do appreciate all of your support as always. I can't believe we're coming up to the one year anniversary of this channel. This year has just flown by super quickly and I will be announcing my top 40 albums of 2023 very, very soon. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.